A soon-to-be Xbox studio has just revealed one of their next projects, and not only are people surprised, but it set the internet ablaze with speculation. There's a lot here to talk about, so let's get into it. What is going on everybody? It's Randall 419 the man with a million, back again with another video. I hope everybody is having an incredible day, and if you guys can do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you guys for all the continued support, it means the world to me. Well, the game announcement that happened yesterday was not only very interesting, but incredibly surprising. And it just so happens and comes after the day where I made my Xbox in 2021 prediction and preview video. And never once did something like this cross my mind about Bethesda partnering with Lucasfilm's game to bring back Indiana Jones. That is something you could never possibly dream of in any potential scenario. But here we are today with one of Bethesda's next projects, potentially an Xbox exclusive, being an Indiana Jones game. So Lucasfilm Games is the company that was basically announced a couple days ago that will be overseeing all the Lucasfilm projects that the video game industry will be making in the future. And we already got a big announcement today that Ubisoft and Massive Entertainment the makers of the Division franchise will be making an open world Star Wars game. And that's right, EA won't have the Star Wars license anymore. But in a really surprising twist, they're bringing back Indiana Jones. Bethesda is making it. And there's a potential situation here where that game could be an Xbox exclusive when it releases probably sometime in 2024. 2025 because I think that game is a little bit farther away. So yesterday on Twitter, Bethesda tweeted out a trailer for a brand new game and they had this to say about it. A new Indiana Jones game with an original story is in development from our studio, Machine Games, and will be executive produced by Todd Howard in collaboration with Lucasfilm Games. It'll be some time before we have more to reveal, but we're very excited to share today's news. And Machine Games had this to say about the new game. They said that we're developing a new Indiana Jones video game. As huge fans of the franchise, it's a tremendous honor for us to create a brand new Indiana Jones game with a completely original story. We're very excited and can't wait to share more in the future. Now, if you want to talk about an announcement that just completely comes out of left field and surprises literally everybody, then look no further than this. Machine Games, the developers of Wolfenstein The New Order and Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, making an Indiana Jones game, which potentially is going to be third person with a lot of platforming, puzzle solving, and obviously probably some gunplay. I'm sitting there imagining in my head what that game could be like, and I know the easy comparison is basically say, hey, Xbox might finally have their Uncharted or their version of Tomb Raider, which is kind of funny when you think about it, considering Indiana Jones is what inspired Laura Croft in Tomb Raider and Nathan Drake in Uncharted. And this is definitely going to be machine games stepping out of their comfort zone. I doubt this Indiana Jones game is going to be first person like the Wolfenstein games, although it will be tied together by Machine Games' love of just murdering Nazis all over the place. But most people, when hearing about this, seem to be pretty excited about the idea of Indiana Jones being made by Machine Games, and they have two questions. When is it coming out, and is it going to be exclusive to Xbox? And I'm going to answer the first one really quickly, because I don't think this game is going to see the light of day for some time. I think Machine Games is pretty close to finishing development on Wolfenstein 3. In fact, Pete Hines said that they were working on it all the way back in 2018. I think Wolfenstein 3 will be revealed this year at E3 or whatever event Microsoft uses to showcase their games, and more than likely will release in 2022, but I guess there's the possibility Wolfenstein 3 could come out this year. This Indiana Jones game is Machine Games' next project after Wolfenstein 3, if I had to guess. So if you figure they go into full production next year 2022 you're probably looking at 2024 maybe 2025 before the game comes out but that's just my speculation now we come to the more interesting discussion about this title and that is what exactly is the exclusivity for this game we know that microsoft and bethesda have entered into an acquisition agreement and microsoft expects that to close soon machine games is one of the developers under the bethesda umbrella and that would be a microsoft owned studio so the question is just like all the Bethesda games, will they be exclusive to Xbox 
Or will this Indiana Jones game actually come out on the PlayStation 5? And you can make a compelling argument for either case. Now the argument for being multi-platform is a pretty simple one. That Machine Games and Bethesda negotiated this deal before they were in acquisition talks with Xbox. And because of that, it's written into the deal, the contract, that this game had to release on as many platforms as possible, the PS5, the Xbox, and the PC. And this was all negotiated before Microsoft entered into that acquisition. So whenever this game does come out, it would come out on the PlayStation 5. And that would explain Phil Spencer's case-by-case -case comments that he made about what he would do with exclusivity of certain titles. Now, most people thought he was talking about existing games, like Doom Eternal still getting its DLC on PlayStation platforms, and Elder Scrolls Online still getting its updates, and perhaps any new games that ZeniMax Online makes if they're MMOs still releasing to as many platforms as possible. But I would imagine if you're about to spend $7.5 billion on an acquisition of this size and you're Phil Spencer, you're going to want to know what each studio is going to work on in the future. And he would be well aware of the licensing deal between Machine Games Bethesda and Lucasfilms Games and would know that the title would have to come out as a multi-platform, which is why he said case-by-case -case basis. So that's the argument for multi-platform. It's a license and Machine Games and Bethesda are obligated to put it out on as many platforms as possible. But that doesn't rule out that this game could be an Xbox exclusive. And in fact, if this game is truly coming out in 2024, this game is probably going to be an Xbox Series X and S exclusive. I know the licensing deal is a huge feather in the cap for people saying multi-platform, but when you look at other licensed properties that Disney has done, you look at Sony Insomniac and the Spider-Man game, that game is exclusive to PlayStation. You look at Nintendo, they had an exclusive Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I think it was either three or four. Microsoft has also done some deals with Disney in the past where they had Disneyland Adventures and Connect Star Wars exclusive to the 360s. So there is some history and precedent that this game could be exclusive to Xbox. And then you have the social media angle. Right when Bethesda tweeted about this brand new game, you had all the high profile Xbox accounts from Phil Spencer, Major Nelson, Aaron Greenberg to the official Xbox account all tweeting about it. It. but not a single peep came from the PlayStation Twitter accounts. They haven't mentioned the game whatsoever. Now that could be a sign that the game is exclusive to Xbox and PlayStation knows that, but it's not really conclusive proof. The honest truth is I don't know which side of the line this game is going to fall on. It could be an Xbox exclusive, but it very well could be a multi-platform. I've always said that once the Bethesda acquisition closed, I always thought that the vast majority of Bethesda games would be exclusive to Xbox moving forward. Well, this could be the exception. Now, you guys got to keep in mind, Bethesda was a multi-platform publisher. So if this deal between Bethesda and Lucasfilms games was taking place way before the Microsoft acquisition, then it probably was planned to be multi-platform. But maybe it was negotiated during the acquisition or after. In that case, there's always a chance it could be exclusive. Now, I know a lot of you might be thinking to yourselves, Rand, there's no way Machine Games is going to be making multi-platform releases once they're owned by Xbox. But I will reiterate once again, licenses are a strange thing. Just look at Sony Studio in San Diego, who've been making baseball games exclusive to the PlayStation platform for a long time. This year, that game's not exclusive to PlayStation. It's gonna be on Xbox and Switch. It's just whatever the license requires. And this Indiana Jones game might be required to be multi-platform. Or maybe Xbox bought the exclusive rights for it. It was always planned to be exclusive to Xbox. Who knows? But right now, if I went to Vegas to place a bet, I think this game is going to be multi-platform but launching day one on Xbox Game Pass. Now, before we get out of here, I want to talk about one of Bethesda's other studios, Arcane, and what they might be working on in the future. You see, Arcane Studios is one of the eight studios under the Bethesda Software's publishing umbrella, but there are actually two different teams, Arcane Lyon in France and Arcane Austin in Austin, Texas. Harvey Smith, co-creator of the Dishonored franchise, recently spoke with Vandal, confirming that he's working with Arcane Austin on a new game, having left Arcane Lyon after Dishonored 2 was finished in 2016. And he said, quote, I'm not on Deathloop, I'm on something else, working with the guys who made Dishonored and Prey, he explained. Arcane Studios is currently hiring several positions to work on a AAA immersive sim, which is likely Austin's next game. Now, new details about an unannounced project at Arcane Austin, quite possibly Harvey Smith's new game, point to it being a fantasy game made in the Unreal 4 engine. Spotted by a Twitter user, the Lincoln profile explains that the company is working on an 
unannounced project in Unreal 4 fantasy. That fantasy genre would seemingly rule out a new Prey game, but could point to a new entry in the Sonored universe. While not a traditionally fantasy game, the presence of magic and dark gods definitely see Dishonored overlap with the genre. The original Dishonored was also built using Unreal Engine 3, although Dishonored 2 used Arcane's own Void Engine. Now, I thought this was interesting to bring up in this video because we're talking about Bethesda, and one of the projects that Machine Games is going to be working on after Wolfenstein, which is the Indiana Jones game, and here you have Arcane, which is putting out Deathloop this year, but is also working on a brand new game. Now, I would love it to be a Dishonored 3, but I would take a Prey 2. I'd be interested in seeing what you guys think about all this stuff in the comments below. Do you think the Indiana Jones game will be exclusive to Xbox, or will it be multi-platform? And what do you want Arcane to work on? A sequel to Dishonored, or perhaps a brand new IP? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell if you always want to be notified whenever I drop a new video like this. Please share this out on social media or tell a friend about the channel. If you want to take your support for the channel even further, you can always hit the join button where you will get access to channel badges and custom emails for the Xbox 2 podcast that we do every single Friday with Jess Corden from Windows Central. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you that take the time out of your day to do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.